Hello and welcome back. We have one of my favorite recipes. It's lasagna. I mean, who doesn't love lasagna? This is my plant-based bolognese version. So we're going to do two things first. We're going to make our delicious plant-based bolognese sauce. Three very important ingredients, mushrooms, walnuts, and brown lentils, French lentils, pew lentils, whatever you want to call them. Nice little brown ones. Those three things together are going to give us that rich, um, beautiful, mince-like texture and bold flavour. The second thing we want to do is make our bechamel. Now bechamel traditionally is butter, flour and milk. So to actually add in some loaded nutrients, I'm making a cheesy bechamel so it forms our cheese and our creamy bechamel sauce by using wheat potatoes, potatoes, cashew nuts, nutritional yeast and garlic powder. We're going to cook all that up and then blend it into this delicious creamy sauce. Then we're going to build our lasagna in layers. So let's get started with our bolognese sauce first. Okay, so that sauce is cooking. While that's happening, let's get our um, creamy or cheesy bechamel ready. So we have our potatoes and here I just have a pot of water boiling. We're going to pop in our potatoes. So just cut them into quarters like that. Any variety of potatoes will be fine, just skin off. And the sweet potato, we're going to cut it into similar sized pieces so they all boil quite evenly. You can use carrots as well, so that's another option. You just want an orange um, vegetable, carrot or sweet potato, just to give that sweetie, sweet, sweetie, <laughs> that sweet texture and then an onion. And the onion, we're going to actually boil that as well so we don't want that chopped up very small we'll just peel all that away and we're just going to quarter that get all the skin off so that is it we're going to gently pop our veggies into boil and we're going to boil this until the veggies are soft because after that using some of the water that's in the pot we're going to blend that into a smooth texture so our cashew nuts will go in as well half a cup to soften them. Oh, we'll put in our salt as well. So a teaspoon of salt into that water. That is all you need to do. Um, pop the lid back on, make sure that comes to the boil. Keep an eye on it so it doesn't go all over the place. All right, back again. Our bolognese sauce is ready and our veggies um, are all soft. So we're going to pop them into our blender, the, the next spread presto, so whatever it is that you have. So everything into your blender. Now you want to boil them until they're nice and soft. It's just going to make it much easier for your blender to process all of that. Alrighty, what I want you to do next is get your garlic powder in. Your nutritional yeast in. So that was the three tablespoons we had pretty early us. And then with your water, I want you to grab one, two ladles. Start with that. And see how you got I'm going to pop it into the blender. I'm going to blend that. Watch the noise. Sorry. It's all right. Excellent. Let's have a look at this. So, this is what we're looking for. A super smooth, creamy. We don't want any of that grainy nut texture in there. So, I'm just going to have a living taste. I'm going to just try this. Ooh. That is perfect. That's it. That's what we're going to use for our lasagna. So now I'm going to get all this sorted, bring back all the D, all the elements, and let's make our lasagna. Okay, we have our beautiful bechamel ready, our sauce. Now let's make this lasagna. So a tray like this is perfect size. I'm just using four dry lasagna sheets. There's egg-free ones if you want, or you could use egg. So what I'd like you to do is pop a little bit of sauce, just on the bottom. And we're going to do four layers. So, we start with the lasagna sheets, just, or maybe we'll go this way. Perfect. Across. So, we'll work four across. And then we're going to go sauce on top. Alrighty. Now, once we get the sauce on top, 
We're going to use equal amounts of the bechamel. So it's just easy at this stage just to pour it in. And then just spread that out. So the dry lasagna sheet you need sauce to cook in. If you're going to use fresh sheets, um, they cook a little bit quicker. But these definitely need moisture for them to cook in the oven. But you want to make sure that you've covered all of that. Now, cheese. You can use any type. So there's lots of great vegan mozzarellas out there. Um, there's also you go dairy if that's your thing. And then parmesan cheese. Again, there are vegan parmesans. And if you go onto my website, there's actually a great recipe for a vegan hummus and cheese. All right, so that's layer one, and we're going to go again. And there you go. That is ready to go into that one. All righty, look at this. It's yum. This is our lasagna. Awesome. Cooked so well. And this is my little slice of heaven. Right, here we go. Mm. That is so good. Look at those layers. One, two, three. Yum. Another mouthful. I'm so happy with how that turned out. And I'd love to know if you guys made it and how it turned out. But that looks amazing. Buon appetito.